What is beamforming gain? And does this mean that beamformers actually create power? Well, let's think about a single antenna scenario. Here we've got a transmitting antenna, and we're going to say that it transmits with a power PT. And here we've got a receiving antenna, and let's assume that over this distance, the receiving power is capital P. Now let's think of the beamforming scenario where we have multiple transmit antennas and we split the power between those antennas. And here's an example where we're considering four antennas. So each antenna transmits with a power of PT divided by four. And we might naively think that, well, we've got four antennas, but they've got a quarter of the power each. So over the same distance, we might assume naively that we're going to still be receiving a receive power of P. So where's the gain? Well, we need to think about the actual waveforms that are being transmitted. So let's just think again about this single antenna case. And because this is an omnidirectional antenna, we could take our receive antenna and move it anywhere around this circle and still receive the power P. So now let's think again about the multi-antenna case for beamforming, what's going on here. So I'm just going to draw some of these radiating waveforms that are coming from this antenna here. And the arc I've just drawn represents the peak of the sinusoidal waveform being emitted from this antenna. And there will be a one that was transmitted just prior to this one, which will have radiated out further. And the same thing will be happening for this antenna. And if they're transmitting in phase with each other, then the curve will look like this for this antenna. And the one that was transmitted previously will have gone further out and will be looking like this. And clearly we're getting constructive and destructive interference at different locations. For example, here, the peak We've got a peak in the sinusoidal waveform from this antenna and a peak in the sinusoidal waveform from this antenna. So at this location, at this instant of time, those two sinusoidal components are adding constructively. At this time in the middle, they're both negatives of the uh, peak, the negative peak, so they're also both adding in the negative direction. At this point here, we're getting a peak from this antenna, but we're getting a trough from this antenna. So here they're adding up destructively. So now we're getting the picture that with beamforming, it depends on the direction you will get a different gain. So here in the single antenna case, no matter the direction, you would receive the same amount of power. But in the beamforming case, it's going to be the case that they are going to add up constructively in some directions and destructively in others. But let's think about this constructively example for a minute. So if, if each of these four are transmitting in phase, then bore sight to the array, as we call it, straight out from the array, these wave fronts will be adding constructively. And again, naively, we might be thinking that, well, from this antenna here, after that amount of distance out to that antenna at the receiver, you would be receiving P divided by four from this one, and it would be a peak you'd be getting P divided by four from here with a peak and, all, and same for these other two. And you're getting four peaks adding constructively, each with P divided by four. Again, you would naively think that the peaks would be adding constructively to give you P. So where's the gain? So let me draw a couple of time domain waveforms. So here I'm going to draw a sinusoidal waveform. And this we could uh, think of as the waveform coming from this antenna here. I'm just going to draw it here in a, let's just think in the time domain uh, for an RMS, if it happened to have a, an RMS value of one, so an RMS voltage equals one volt, because what you're actually receiving in the receive antenna, the electromagnetic waves hitting the antenna, it's turning those waves into a voltage in the circuit of the antenna, which is going into the amplifier. So let's consider just for a minute that the signal coming from this antenna receives here with one volt RMS. Well, that means of course that the peak is square root of two volts. Now what's the power for this? 
Well, power, as we uh, hopefully recall, is uh, power equals V squared divided by R. So if we just think for an example at the minute, we're just thinking of this to uh, visualize what's going on here. Let's think of an R for a one ohm resistor. So in an antenna, let's assume we have a, a one ohm resistor. Then the power for this with an RMS of one volt, the power is going to be one squared, which equals one. So this power of this waveform that I've drawn here, the power equals one watt. Now let's think for the second antenna. And again, if it's in phase, then it's going to be received also as a sinusoidal waveform in the time domain. Also, it's going to have one volt, uh, one volt RMS. Also, the, the peak is going to be square root of two, and the power is also going to equal one watt. So if we naively thought that the signals when we add these two together, we're going to be adding the powers, we would be thinking we'd be getting two watts if we added these two waveforms. But let's actually add these two waveforms. So this is adding in phase, square root of two, square root of two. We're going to get a sinusoidal waveform, which has got an amplitude of two times the square root of two. Of course, this is uh, corresponds to an RMS value of two volts, which means the power corresponds to four watts. And here is the gain. Here's the gain that we're seeing here. And this is exactly what's happening in the beam forming case when you are side on to the array. So in this case, we've got four elements here. But instead of just simply getting one over here, we're now going to get four times P. Exactly because each one is transmitting a sinusoidal waveform like here. I showed two, but when it's four, you're going to get four times P side on to the array. So this is the gain. But what about uh, the conservation of energy? Surely we can't receive more power at the receiver. And in fact, we don't receive more overall. At just here, you have to add up the power uh, being received in all directions to equal the power that was transmitted in total. So if we draw over here uh, for the omnidirectional antenna, if we've got an angle around here, so we're going to be showing the angles. So if you're transmitting, at diff if you're thinking of receiving at different angles around from your array here, then if you had an omnidirectional, you'd be receiving P in all directions, equally in all directions. That's the amount of power from the omnidirectional case. But with the beam former case, or side, side on, we're receiving four times P. And what we find is that as you move around away from directly bore side, quickly the gain drops off. And what you in fact find is that you get a shape that looks like this. And then there are side lobes that are smaller than the, uh, than the amount that you get omnidirectional, smaller than P. And what in fact is the case is that if you integrated around this shape that I've just drawn, which is the beam pattern of our beam former, if you integrate the area inside this uh, beam shape here, including the side lobes here, then it will equal the integral of the area of this circle, of the omnidirectional circle. So the total amount of power that is radiated is the same. The total amount that is received, if you add up around all directions, is the same, but the distribution of that energy is different. And when you have beam forming in certain directions, like if they all have the same phase, then the direction is side on, then that has a much bigger gain at the expense of the other directions, which are going to have destructive interference. So hopefully this has explained beam forming gain, the concept, if it has. Give the video a like, it helps others to find the video. You can check out the description below. You'll find a web page with a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel.